Hello, I'm James Ingram, speaking for www.track2.com. Uh, I'm going to give some pointers about how to build a free or inexpensive web page for, uh, say, an individual or a non-profit group or even possibly a small business. Uh, none of what I'm going to say is really anything uh, new or spectacular. You may already know it, uh, but get on the other hand, you may not know it yet and you may find something of use in what I'm going to say here. Uh, I'm going to basically try to break this into four parts. Uh, part one will be how to get a free web page using a blog. Uh, part two will be how to set up a forwarding domain name to give people an easy way, uh, easy to remember way to get to your blog or wherever you choose to put your web page. Uh, part three will be the optional use of video, such as, I'm, such as I'm doing here right now, to actually put yourself live in front of the camera where people can hear you speak 24 hours a day from anywhere in the world. And part four will be the optional use of a, a Yahoo list server or uh, known as Yahoo Groups. Uh, again, another free way to set up an email mailing list or if you want to send announcements out to people or have a discussion group. Okay, we'll go into part one of this discussion, how to get a free web page using a blog. Uh, there's many blogs available. In fact, in addition to the blogs, there's many other forms of free web pages out there you can build. Uh, Yahoo has them for one, and there's probably a couple hundred others. Uh, we've kind of selected the ones from Blogger or Blogspot.com uh, to use as our standard because they're, uh, they're very clean, they're very easy to use. Uh, a lot of other people around the area seem to be using them already. Uh, when I say blogspot.com, uh, the address is www.blogspot.com, and it's actually a, a subdivision of Google, uh, who also runs the YouTube service. Now you can get a more professional page from a professional design group if you want uh, something like say cold networks here in Williamsport or a uh, similar service but we're talking about an easy one you can get at no cost uh, currently currently Google makes these available to us for free uh, so they're no cost and very easy to update. Uh, the, the big advantage is it's almost like I tell people it's almost like sending an email to update a blog if you've ever used a email system like Yahoo or Hotmail or Google or similar, uh, you're familiar with how you basically just you bring up a window on a web page and you uh, update your information and you click send when you want to send it. Uh, updating a blog is almost the same way. Uh, you type your information in a little window on a web page, but instead of clicking send, you just click, click publish, and at that point the blog updates itself. Uh, there's more information on these blogs on the track2.com blogs page. Here we are looking at a blog on the uh, computer screen. We're looking at the uh, SusquehannaSeniorNet.org blog. Uh, this is one that's set up for the Susquehanna Senior Net program that runs out of the James V. Brown Library here in Williamsport. Uh, Again, the blog is the blog is free from blogspot.com, and then we we've set up the forwarding domain name susquehannaseniornet.org to allow people easily to get to this blog. Uh, let's take a look at another one. This is the scrantondancenet.com blog, again used to uh, put links for dancing establishments in the Scranton area. Uh, a third blog, Williamsportballroom.com. This blog is used to uh, post dates for classes and dances in the Williamsport, Pennsylvania area. Uh, and again, it, 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 just reiterating, it, uh, it's free and it, it also allows multiple people to access it. That's something I should point out. You can give multiple people access to these blogs so more than one people can be updating them. In this case, in this case of the blog, uh, there's two people that update it regularly and I occasionally make some changes on it myself. So we got basically three of us currently working on this blog, three or four of us. Let's go to a test blog. This is one I set up for just uh, test use. 
Uh, we'll see if we can actually show quickly how easy it is to update this thing. This is the blog looking at it as people see it. Now we'll click this little pencil which is a quick way to get into the update area. Uh, let's go back for a minute here. Uh, you notice it currently says uh, test blog for www.track2.com so that's there currently. We'll see if we can add something to it. Uh, we're going to go below that uh, and we'll just type some text in here real quick. I just typed in a line of text that says medical alert uh, 90 is the new 80. That kind of applies to me as I advance in uh, years here. So we, we've typed in our text. And again, this looks similar to a Yahoo email type window if you ever used Yahoo or Hotmail. You just bring the window up and add your text. Now instead of clicking send like you normally would with an email, you go down here on the lower left where that orange link is and just click publish post. So that'll, uh, that'll actually publish that blog. Now it, it gives us a confirmation your blog post published successfully. So now we'll take a look at the blog. And there it is. You can see we've added that text medical alert. 90 is a new 80. And likewise you can add pictures and add links and do typical web page operations. You can't get too fancy with these blogs. They don't give you as much flexibility as a you know, a real web page program, but the big, the big two advantages are, one, they're free, uh, two, they're very easy to use. Let's see if we can add a picture just real quick here as a further demonstration. I'm going to go over and click on the link to add a picture, and uh, we'll navigate to a, uh, a photo, which I'm going to do to bring this over from the other screen. Let's pick a, uh, pick a photo here. Now we're just telling it, we're just going through and telling it which photo to use. So we've got the we got the photo selected. Uh, we'll say put it in medium size and center it. Uh, we're ready to upload the image, so we'll click the uploading button. So we got a message now that it's busy uh, uploading our image. Now there's our confirmation your image has been added. We'll click on the done button. Uh, there's our photo in our edit window. So again, we're going to say uh, publish post. Again, tell the blog to publish it. There's our confirmation, your blog post published successfully. So we'll click on view blog. Now there's our blog with the, uh, the picture added. So uh, you can see how easy it is to add pictures and add text to these blogs. This has one additional advantage. If you actually click on the blog's picture like I did, it shows you the full size photo. So the blog actually stores the photos full size and makes them available. To, to viewers, but you can upload them at a smaller size so a person with a dial-up modem doesn't get stuck trying to download a whole bunch of pictures. I can I can upload these pictures very small yet have them available to viewers as a large picture. So and like I say the whole the big advantage of this is A it's free and B it's fairly easy to use, which hopefully I've demonstrated a little bit in this chunk of video. Here we are looking at the uh, track2.com home page uh, where the cursor is. If you can see it, we'll zoom in on this a little bit. There's a, uh, a heading titled blog and under that right to the next to the cursor there's a entry called info. If you click on that link that takes you to uh, additional information about blogs uh, which is which further expands on what I've been trying to talk about in this short video.